and summer looks set to make something of a return, but you'll have to be quick to catch it. All that and so much more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Rain, well, I was at an open air theatre in Regent's Park yesterday. Sorry for the actors. Oh, I, can, I, I can just apologise, but we did say it was going to rain in, in our defence. Yes, um, I know. But the good thing is um, the rain's gone now. And actually, we've got a little bit of summer sunshine for you. So okay. never mind the sunbed dash and the Costa del yes. Sol. Stay right here in the UK, but it is for two days only. Let's take a look in a little more detail. Yes, a little bit of summer on the cards, but you're going to have to be quick to catch it because it is a very fleeting visit only. So as far as the setup for today is concerned, there will be some spells of warm sunshine, a little bit disappointingly drizzly and murky in western areas and a little bit of a breeze developing further north. But on the whole, nothing too troublesome. As far as this morning is concerned, it has been a little bit misty and murky out towards North Sea coastal areas. The strength of sunshine, though, will lift this mist and murk away. And actually, as a general rule today, the setup is the further west that you go. This is where we'll see the cloud and the drizzle persisting through parts of Ireland, parts of Wales and down towards the far southwest. But further eastwards, this is where you'll enjoy the best of the blue skate and that summer sunshine. Catch it if you can. Temperatures today topping out at around 24 in Celsius, a little bit fresher with that breeze towards parts of Scotland and northern England. As we head through this evening and into the overnight stretch, then remaining generally calm and quiet, lengthy clear skies developing, but the cloud and the drizzle will persist out towards the west. Hello there, very good morning to you. Not looking too bad at all on the weather front out there for today. And actually a similar story for tomorrow as well with summer set to make a very fleeting return courtesy of this area of high pressure that effectively dances around the south of the UK, keeping things largely fine and settled. And then as you can see, a cold front brings it crashing to a halt through Thursday evening. So as I've been saying, try and make the most of the next couple of days if you possibly can. So as far as today is concerned, it's been a little bit misty and murky out towards northern sea coastal areas, but actually as the morning wears on, this mist and murk will start to lift, the sunshine will melt it away. And then the mist and murk will start to gather towards western areas. So it is going to be a little bit hit and miss, slightly disappointing through parts of Ireland, parts of Wales, the southwest. We could see a little bit of drizzle where the cloud is thick enough, but the further east that you go this is where you'll see the best of the blue sky and that sunshine with temperatures today topping out at around 24 in celsius remaining generally calm and quiet the cloud persisting through western areas and parts of ireland as we head through this evening and into the overnight stretch with temperatures remaining incredibly and almost unseasonably mild for the time of year so that's how the next 24 to 48 hours are shaping up. Let's take a little look at the bigger picture, because as I've been saying, summer does look set to make something of a return. But will it last? The answer is probably not. So make the most of it if you can. So let's cast our eyes to the north. Temperatures, as you can see, start to rise over the next couple of days. So we're looking at 25 today, 24 tomorrow. Not bad at all. Still a couple of degrees above the average. But as I've been saying, there is rain in the forecast for the north in particular as we head towards the end of the week and into the coming weekend. Let's move our attentions then to the south of the UK. And again, the temperatures will continue to rise, peaking tomorrow at 27 in Celsius. That's positively tropical, just about the 80s in Fahrenheit. But again, as with the north, the rain moves in by the time we get to the end of the week.